we are starting at the same spot that we did in the last vlog <laughs> and almost the same outfit as well. <laughs> We're heading out. I just wanted to say hi. Welcome to Miami vlog part two. We are now going down to downtown Miami and just walking around there and we're having dinner there as well. I don't know where yet. No. But we'll see. But yeah, we're heading out, but I just wanted to say hi. So hi, and I'll see you in the next clip. How true is this? Ferry currently on our way to Bimini. Mm -hmm. We just got something to eat and drink. We haven't uh, eaten today. We woke up at half past five. Yes. So uh... that is insane. <laughs> I was just down uh, at the cafeteria to buy this, and the line is like insane. I got there before they opened, and they opened like while I stood there, so I was lucky. But yeah, the guys working there was pretty slow. They have two cafeterias, like two shops, but there's like very slow both places and the lines are crazy. We got uh, two turkey and cheese croissants, uh, one pastry with, I assume, is guava and cheese. It has to be. Two cokes and two coffees and it's uh, $31. I haven't seen an, a styrofoam cup since I was oh, yeah. eight. <laughs> That's it. That's some memories. Yeah, really I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looks good. That looks very good.
so we're on the ferry on our way home again. We are very tired, very warm and very hungry because we only had the, that conch that I showed you, uh, conch and fries. <laughs> and it was too little. Yeah, we haven't filmed that much but we have been walking a lot and just what, looking at the water <laughs> basically the entire time. And yeah, walking from one end to the other and back again. Yeah, I think we've gone 14,000 steps. Or yeah, so that's enough. We, and we did swim as well. Uh, yeah, so it's been a good day. We were tired. Very tired. <laughs> yeah, so uh, on our way home now, we are having um, burgers, chips, and that uh, pastry again because it was so good. And water and coke because we need both. One for uh, enjoyment, one for. Help. Need. Yeah, need. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's been a good day. Good day. This bird is driving me crazy. But it's also so cute. Like, where is he? There he is. He has been going on for a couple of hours now and he has like a hundred different sounds. And he's just sitting there screaming. And I tried to like uh, push the tree to get him to move. And he just like looked down at me, like it was so cute. So <laughs> I don't have the heart to ask him to leave. So he can stay and just annoy us. I did uh, record him and play the sound to him. And he was so like uh, curious. He was sitting there staring at me and like listening to his own song. <laughs> He moved, so now you can see him properly. We have just been laying by the pool today because we felt like we needed a day off to rest our feet. <laughs> I just came in to make some lunch that I will bring out with us to the pool. Um, so I'm making a sausage egg McMuffin. <laughs> I'm using this uh, Thomas English muffin, just original. And we're having sweet Italian style chicken sausage from Trader Joe's. Uh, pepper jack cheese and eggs. That will be delicious, I think. I don't think I showed you on here, but uh, I showed this on my Instagram. We tasted this the other day. Um, if there is a new Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal out, we will do whatever we can to get our hands on it and test it. But yeah, if you saw my Instagram post or story, um, it's okay. It's The flavor is good, but it's not as strong as the original. It soaks up milk a lot faster, so it becomes like pretty soggy pretty quick. So yeah, I wouldn't buy it again. I would just stay with the original. So here is lunch. And of course, we need... There you go. So that's my lunch. No, I'm just kidding. This is for the both of us. And I will also bring barbecue sauce and ketchup in case Matt wants uh, something on top. That looks really, really good. Oh, I'm so looking forward to that. We are actually heading out uh, in a couple of minutes for uh, a bike trip. Mm -hmm. uh, but we picked up a package uh, earlier today from um, Magic Spoon. We bought a big box of cereals, uh, Magic Spoon cereals, when we were in LA this summer, last summer. So we wanted to pick up all the flavors we don't have this time. So we have a bunch of flavors. <laughs> we have eight flavors to test out. Oh yes. They're so kind that when you buy a bunch, I think it's just when you buy like a, the six box, box of six flavors, uh -huh. you get uh, their new cereal bars for free. So we got two boxes. That's really generous. That is generous. If you hear the noise, they're vacuuming outside, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> These must be quite big because there's four in a pack. Yeah, so we, we got eight, four of each flavor. It's cookies and cream and cocoa peanut butter. I guess the macros are pretty similar. 130 calories, seven fat, 17 carbs, and 10 protein. Much better than the C bar protein. <laughs> Which is what, five? Five, yeah. Yeah. I love their packaging as well. Yeah. Oof, not sure how many flavors they have, if it's only these two or if it's more. Maybe I should... That was better. That's better. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my god. Ooh, oh, they oh. look very nice. They look uh, identical. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so this is the peanut butter one. Peanut but cocoa peanut butter. And this is cookies and cream. 
It's not really that crunchy. It's um, a bit soft. It's not very sweet. It's quite bitter. Actually. Yeah, yeah, bitter. The the chocolate is very dark. This is a. Uh, I'm tasting the cookies now. Cookies and cream. Mm -hmm. I get a hint of the the cookies and cream cereal they have. It's that <clears throat> kind of artificial sweetness. This didn't have that. This had more of a bitterness and. Mm -hmm. Very, very slight peanut. They're very little sweet, mm -hmm. but I mean, they're supposed to be the healthier brand. The peanut butter one is the best, I think. Yeah. The other one is like too artificial. Yeah. Overall, not the best. Probably it's a lot better for you mm -hmm. than a lot of the other ones. But like flavor wise, and it could have had stronger flavor and a tiny bit sweeter, but yeah. maybe. And the, the chocolate pieces, they taste like like Lily's chocolate, like sugar free dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, they're okay. I probably wouldn't buy them again. No. I think the cookies and cream one is too sickening for me. Is that the one? Yeah. That's right. The other one was a lot better. And by that I mean it was okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is too artificial, yeah. too sickening, yeah. Yeah, that's um, that's sad. But yeah, we just had the, the other one yesterday, the C bar. But that is like a candy bar, you can't really compare. But that's so good. It's like really good. Yeah. This is, it's good if you need those 10 grams of protein. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it again though, but we will definitely eat the pack. Oh, we will, yeah. Yeah. Seems like Palace is the place to be. <laughs> South Beach is absolutely completely packed today with people and cars and music and noises. But uh, it's Saturday so I get it and it's uh, nice. <laughs> but we have our own plans today. We are going to enjoy some good food. It's a repeat from last year. We are going to 11th Street Diner. Do we sit inside or outside? Yeah, this is the their logo. Such a cool place. They have so much here. It's so hard to choose. Like <laughs> they have like ten pages of food. It's and and like each page has so much. Yeah. It, you, you, it's difficult to choose. Yeah, I know. I went for this last time, and it was delicious. And I know I considered that one last time, so I think I'm gonna have that this time. The tuna melt. Yeah, I always love a good tuna melt. And I've, we've had the pancakes here and they were amazing as well. They were. Matt they had fried chicken waffle last time. True. I'm not sure what I'm going to go for now. We did plan to go have an ice cream after dinner, but we were kind of full. I was so hot before dinner, so when we got there, I drank like two of those with Diet Coke and one of those with water. You you, you had almost like two liters of yeah. liquid and food. <laughs> yeah, in me. So I felt really full, so we didn't have ice cream. Yeah. But we now want to test out these. And uh, yeah, if you see, I just bought some new clothes. That's why the tags are still on. <laughs> and we also saw before leaving for the US, we saw that M&Ms were coming out with a new flavor. And we found it. It's marshmallow crispy treat. That sounds delicious. We've had oatmeal cream pies as a cereal before, but I'm interested to see how they kind of fare with the actual real product. Yeah, me too. They're so tiny. Tiny. Look, look at the. They look stuffed. I thought they were gonna and be hard, but they're like here. You can't. You can't even see the filling. Well, you can see the tiny bit there. And it's so nothing soft. like the. Oh, it's really, really soft. I should give it a try. Okay. That's good. That tastes like an oat cookie. It does. I love oat cookie. Cookie. You can't really taste the filling. No. It was really good. It just doesn't taste that much, but the texture I'm all about. Mm -hmm. Look at those nice colors. Ooh. Well, they're rounder. 
They're tiny. They're like pastel. Yeah, pastel colors and they're round and tiny. Mmm. Mm. Those are good. White chocolate with uh, crisp rice center. You can taste that it's white chocolate. It's kind of like like a tiny bit sickening. Mm -hmm. But still good. Mm -hmm. It's got a bit of crunch. Mm -hmm. So we're biking around the Venetian islands today. <laughs> And we can't really get over how beautiful some of these houses are. It's amazing. I'm always curious to who lives there. Yeah. And whenever we see a for sale sign, we're like, okay, we have to go check how much that costs. <laughs> how much more, how many decades more we have to save up. Yeah. Oh, we could live here. That would be a dream. <laughs> so we were going to have a home cooked meal today but after the bike ride we wanted whole foods instead this is just for me <laughs> yeah. and it's packed here now so I'm excited! So, not surprisingly, the selection looks pretty <laughs> pretty much the same as last time. <laughs> but I do want to try these. This is like plantain chips. Yeah. They look good. Ooh, crispy. <laughs> too crispy? Maybe too crispy. Yeah. How's the flavor? Good. But yeah, I also have one meatball, chicken, chicken, sweet potato, broccoli, and a little bit of mac and cheese. And I have no vegetables. No vegetables. Yeah, you have a sweet potato. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a couple of cookies for later. It's with the peanut butter and toffee. And I found this and this intrigued me, so we had to buy it. So I'll, I'll test that out later tonight. So that is uh, peanut butter and that is uh, toffee and chocolate. Mmm. Soft. It's Yum. good. They're a bit more crumbly. The flavor of that is delicious. Mm. I'm having a very familiar breakfast today. Protein oats. <laughs> <laughs> I bought like these single packets of, uh, single servings of oats uh, from Good and Gather. I think that's a Target brand. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, these are, they're pretty small though. There's like 28 grams in each packet. Um, and because I wanted to try the new protein powder we got. We got this because we had the um, the fruity pebbles uh, flavor in this one, and it's really good. So we found the cocoa pebbles one here in Miami. So I'm excited to see the verdict. It's good. Good. It's, it blends nicely in uh, porridge as well. Not all protein powders do. No. It doesn't blend as nice as pea science, but it's still good. The flavor is good. And I tested this yesterday uh, off camera. This is like straight up granola. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be the flavor to be that close, but it is. It tastes like granola. It's and the ingredients are so good. Like it's so few and it's very natural. It's gluten free oats, coconut oil, maple syrup, olive oil, vanilla extract, rosemary extract, and salt. That's good. So I think I want to have a tiny bit of that on top. <laughs> This breakfast looks like poop, <laughs> but I'm sure it will be good. So I, I don't, um, I never said what we were doing today earlier when we had, didn't I film a breakfast? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we were in uh, Key Biscayne. We just got dropped off at uh, Cranton Park. So we're walking around Key Biscayne today. Maybe we're taking a swim. We don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It looks absolutely amazing here. Yeah, it's so hot. <laughs> what kind yeah. of bird is that? On the, oh, the trash can. Uh, can I turn is the camera? Is that uh, vultures? Oh, it looks like there's it. So oh my many, god. There's that... so many birds here and a vulture <gasps> uh, circled us yesterday. They're and huge. it circles the pools every day. The pool. Yeah, oh look at- Oh my god, they're so huge. They're massive. 
Hang on, let's see if we're... Can I turn the camera? They look small now, but he flew up there and his wings were massive. Okay, so as we're standing here looking at the vultures and admiring them, like three large, um, what are they called? Igu iguanas? Iguanas or something? They're called ig iguanas. <laughs> lizards. Yeah, lizards. They came running out of this bush and they're like running after each other and stuff. They're huge. This is so new to us. <laughs> We used to rat some pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a whole family of them. I was going to say there's a whole fleet of them. But, uh... Hello. So this is uh, Crandon Beach, I assume? Isn't it? I think so. Yeah. That is one beautiful beach. I feel like I can already see the news article. Like Norwegian couple, Norwegian tourists, eaten by crocodiles. Brutally murdered by crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they have everything here in this park, apparently. They have peacocks as well. They're beautiful and one of them like screamed uh, just a couple of minutes ago and so easy to hear uh, that it's a peacock. But that one had a sore throat, I think. <laughs> That hasn't said hi to you again. No, that's hasn't the first said... thing you said this morning. Yeah. <laughs> hey! Have you seen a peacock raise his feathers? Once. Yeah, I think so once as well. Yeah. The amount of noises coming from the bushes is very disturbing. There's like hundreds, hundreds of... Um, what's it called? Uh, Iguanas or what, whatever. Lizards. Lizards. Look, it? turtles! Look at this. Look at those uh, thick uh, hands. Woof! It's and there's funny. like they're good. They're good at hiding because there were several here, but I can't see them now. It's hard to pick up. Where did the other one go? There you go. Who is it showing it to? Is it us? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Get over here, and I'll show you. <laughs> I heard you've only seen this once, so... Treat <laughs> <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Turn around. We are going there for lunch. Donut Gallery Diner. We both went for this one with uh, bacon and hash brown. I think we can both uh, highly recommend. Uh, I'm sorry if it's windy, if you can hear the wind. Uh, I think we can both uh, highly recommend uh, Gallery Donut Gallery Diner. That was cool. They don't have donuts though. They never have. But it, I think it was a donut shop before they bought it, and that's why. Yeah. And it was so cool. Like it's such a typical diner. It's very like local and. Uh, family owned I think it said it was and they've been going on for 50 years yeah they were super friendly yeah and the, the pancakes were delicious and everything else was delicious but the pancakes was they were really good so yeah. I would highly recommend if you're in Key Biscayne to go visit them now we're back in uh, Cran Park Cran Beach. Beach yeah and uh, we might go swimming we're very warm it's so hot it's like unbelievably hot we have been Putting on a sun lotion all day, but uh, it feels like I'm getting burned just standing here. Yeah, you actually look a bit red. I do.